Great. There are two senses that you did not learn when they do the five senses in pre-K and kindergarten, and they are proprioception and vestibular. Okay? So, and balance is the vestibular one. So, what I want everyone to do, since we're OTs and we believe in action as a way of learning, put your stuff down. And I want everybody to stand up. Okay? And we're going to play a very simple game. Can everybody see me? You don't have to stand in a stone box. Can everybody see me? Yeah? Okay. All right. Everybody put your hands at your sides. We're playing Simon Says. Okay. You ready? Okay. Everybody do this. 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 Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Sit down. All right. So, how'd you do? Who was able to do it? Who did it right? <laughs> I never said Simon. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about Simon says do this. Oh, my God. Those of you who did it right, which you all did, how many, uh, how, how do you know that you did it right? You know that I did it right. Because you looked at me. You know that I did it right. How do you know that you did it right? By feeling it. Yeah, but how did you, by feeling it, right? You could, you translated what you saw into immediate action in your body. Did you think about it? Any conscious and cognitive thought? No. You automatically did what I did because you automatically translated vision into action without any blockade in there. Proprioception is the feeling in our joints and our muscles that tell us where our body is relative to ourselves. Very important, for example, if you're looking at the blackboard, and you need to, yeah, we, that was a great, <laughs> we did that to our professor in graduate school. We, we, we trained him to look out the window and lecture to the cars. It's very cool, I like, bet I could do that too. You, know, you look up at the board, and you're writing, and you look up to copy, and you're writing, and you're writing without looking at what you're doing. How do you know how to do that? You know how to do that because you can control your joints and your muscles without even looking at them. And you're automatically translating what's out there to what you're doing with your hands. Or another example is a baby learning to, to um, pick up food and eat. Right? So you can see the food and you pick it up, but by the time you get up to here, by the time you get your spoon up to here, you can't see what you're doing anymore. So how does that baby know where to get that spoon? It's a sense in their joints and muscles, and not only that, they also have the sense of where their face and where their mouth is. So they can, in, in the beginning, they're really, really shaky and like everything's falling off the spoon. <laughs> But eventually, their nervous system, their proprioceptive system, matures that they sense finally how heavy that food is, how they have to balance that spoon, and where the spoon is relative to their mouth. But that's a learning process. But by the time kids are two, or two and a half, or three, they really know how to do that. And that's from the, the proprioceptive system.